Now, if you're like me, and when you first heard about the incident from Mori, you'd probably just hear it as Sunny pushes Mori down the stairs, Basil says, yo, let's hang her and fake her death as a suicide so it does, so the others aren't like, yo, you pushed her down the stairs and killed her, deal? And then Sonny's like, yeah, okay, and then they do that. And then you'd probably think, yeah, it's all Sonny's fault. It's all his fault. But then, I've started to realize, no. Like, I've put research into this. And I've thought about this for a really long months, dude. And honestly, I just really need to share it because it changed my whole opinion on the accident. Basically, the most basic explanation for why the incident happened is Sunny was frustrated with his violin and then threw it down the stairs which resulted in him pushing Mari down the stairs. Quite understandable and but honestly that explanation is doo-doo because there's so much more detail and context that is needed to like explain why he didn't. To, Meanwhile, yes, he was frustrated with his violin. There's so much more. The reason why it happened is very important. As most of us know, then there was gonna be a recital. And Sony and Mari were spending like little days, months probably, working on it. And to play like their final duet and stuff. But you see, Sonny was super stressed because Maui is actually a confirmed perfectionist, bro. Yes! We love a perfectionist, bro, guys. Yes, yes, we love that, dude. We love that. And was putting a lot of pressure on Sonny to get it right so they don't fail it because it was very important. It was important for the entire friend group. So Maui was putting a lot of pressure on Sonny, which resulted in Sonny basically having extreme anxiety about the whole team and just being very anxious about it. And then basically one day right before they had to actually do the whole ritual without like practicing and stuff, Sonny got very annoyed that like, yo, She's putting a lot of pressure on me, dude. It's super annoying. She needed to be perfect. And it's like, ah, ah, you know what? I'm gonna freaking destroy this fire end, dude. This is freaking stressful. Which, honestly, it was 12 when this happened, so I can kind of understand. But it's like, dude. I wouldn't have thrown the violin down the stairs, that's all I'm saying, I probably wouldn't like. But then again, he probably, he was hinted at having anger issues, which is same, but like still did. I'm sorry, I'd probably do the same one I'm talking about. He stormed out and then just threw the violin down the stairs and Mari chased after him and was like, Sunny? What the hell, dude? Like, we need to get this perfect. And you just broke that violin. You know how much that cost us, bro? We spent all the time saving up for it to get you it on Christmas, bro. You freaking suck, dude. You, we needed to get this perfect. And you just went and, <laughs> and took it and just went bam with it. Like, goddamn, bro. And then, Sonny was, like, s very angry. Like, he, he threw his violin down the stairs. Like, of course, he was extremely angry. And he tried to, like, run away. But then Maui blocked him and basically just went, Yo, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Let me yell at you. 
you dumbass, why did you do that? And then, which resulted in Sunny doing a little push push, doing a little, doing a little, doing a little, you see, and like, which resulted in Molly falling down the stairs and basically just getting pierced by the violin and dying. And you see, Basil was like coming in early to be like, yo, how's the practice for the recital going, dude? But then he saw this haunting and happen and then he's like, Sunny, what the hell, dude? What, what the hell did? And then they had actually not immediately went, yo, figure death is a suicide, bro. Figure, figure right now, dude. They instead actually took her and then propped her in her bed to see if she could wake up. <laughs> because, <laughs> you see, she wasn't breathing. She just freaking flat out died. <laughs> and like, in the photos description, it like I'm, I don't have the reference up right now, but it's like it said something like she felt much lighter than she usually did, <laughs> and she wasn't breathing. Her eyes were wide open or something like that, which honestly, Rocky terrifying, dude. Rocky terrifying traumatizing already traumatizing enough you just killed your own sister by accident i mean if i pushed my brother down the stairs and he died and i would feel like crap dude and then if my friend just came over and was like yo what the hell dude what the hell i would be extremely traumatized and like after we basically confirmed yeah she's dead bro they basically just went <laughs> Basil was like freaking out I was like yo son you could go to jail for this I don't want you to go to jail for this bro <laughs> what if we just took this little this little skipping rope yeah and just did a little funny little noose and then just hung her up in that tree what if we did that? What if we did that, bro? And then Sunny was like, Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Which honestly, you... Basil, how do you know that? How do you know about that? How do you know how to tie a noose, Basil? How do you know how to tie a noose? They did that. And then Sunny saw Mari staring right at him with her eye open, wide open, and then she transformed into something, and then started haunting Sunny, yeah, let's go, dude. I'm shaking a lot, dude. And then, of course, trauma, trauma, trauma. So, now that we got basically a pretty good description of basically why the accident happened and how it like went out and stuff i think that i can come to an accurate enough conclusion which is it's not just sunny's fault it's not just basil's fault it's not just mari's fault it's all their faults now a bit more fault on Sunny and Mari because Mari was the one putting all this pressure on Sunny being like yo this has to be perfect dude this has to be perfect okay and like being a perfectionist and stuff like she's almost the one who started it but then again Sunny was the one who threw the violin down the stairs and caused Mari's death so like hmm Bit more fault on both of them and then for basil he was the one that came up with the plan to fake her death as a suicide so partially his fault as well why didn't they just say oh yeah she fell down the stairs bro and she died 
know how much, like how many injuries stars can cause? Dude, this many. Yeah, she freaking died from that. Basically, all their fault, more on Mari and Sunny. That's my conclusion on this. Thank you.